and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the ultimate the catfish experience. So today ladies and gents we are going to be showing you how to catfish because we all know I'm a catfish. I mean look at it. It's not the most pleasant sight you've ever seen in your life. So we're going to do some makeup, some hair, put a cute outfit on because we're going to the pub tonight. Corona hair. I'm probably going to get well hated for that. <laughs> Anyway, if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Lolly slash Lauren slash Lolly Pop slash I don't know, whatever you want to call me. Make sure to subscribe down below, join the little family, smash the big thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, first things first is obviously going to be my makeup because I have got a bit of tan. I, have, I don't fake tan, but I've got on a couple sun beds. So I've got a little bit of tan. Pardon me. One bad bitch and you ass out my day go Nothing better than a food at the day go Very fango We're back. So, of course, the first thing I always do is moisturise before I do anything else. I've already washed my face on a face mask this morning, so my skin should be nice and prepped and clear. I'm also going to use this simple hydrating booster from the Little Mix collection just to obviously boost the hydration of my skin. So, just a tiny little drop, rub it in. I'm then going to use the Pore Professional Primer and just put that all over my face. How is everyone feeling about Corona? Because honestly, I feel like I was really like, I don't know if I'm really underreacting or if like everyone just needs to calm down a little bit. Like, yeah, it's dangerous, but buying 45 loaves of bread isn't going to stop you getting corona, do you know what I mean? A little bit of a skin breakout going on, but that is because um, I'm during my period, so we've got to work with it. But you know, doesn't matter if your skin's not great. I've got a foundation, but my friend's a makeup artist and I'm copying some of her tricks. So I'm actually going to start by concealing under my eyebrows. So. I'm then going to conceal under my eyes. I actually look disgusting at this face, but you've just got to work with it because you know what? Trust the process, ladies. Obviously, you need to wet your sponge, but I use my setting spray. It's just a one from Primark to wet my sponge. So we're all concealed, looking absolutely tragic. Obviously, this concealer is way too light for my face, but I'm going to put my foundation over it and then reconceal later on. So the next thing I'm going to do is move on to my eyebrows. We're trying out a new makeup, well I've changed the way I do my makeup a little bit lately, so we're going to try out something a little bit new, so we're going to brush up the eyebrows. A lot of people use soap brows, and now I don't have soap brows, so what I am going to do is use just a little bit of this, just Vaseline lip balm, any lip balm of any kind, and just put it through my brows, literally just like that, just a little bit on your finger, just brush them up, and again in with the brush, just brush them up, let me just... I don't even know why I zoomed you out. So then I use the pomade, the Revolution pomade. I used to like really dry out the shape, but now I just kind of do whatever fits. Um, I don't fill it in as much. I feel like it looks better that way. It's just to keep brushing them all the time, brushing them into the positions that you want. I kind of like mine a little bit fluffed like this. So that's the brow. I'm going to do the other brow and I'll be right back with you. Now, I don't really wear... My ring light's literally facing the wrong way. I don't really wear um, skin... Oh my god, guys, we're having a mare today. It's probably the worst video you've ever seen in your lives. Um, I don't really wear eye makeup. So, I'm just going to move on to the skin and then if I feel like at the end then I kind of bronze up my eyes. But the first, the first thing, okay, spray with the fitting spray again. I was mixing this foundation, I'm not sure what shade it is, soft beige, with this paler one from Primark. But because I've been on a couple of sunbeds I don't really need to do that now. So I'm literally just going to drop it onto my face. Sorry if I'm kind of looking to the side, it's because I'm looking in my viewfinder. And then I use my Real Techniques stippling brush and just kind of spread it out a little bit, but not properly, because then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender. Skin prep, I feel like, is so important to how your foundation looks. Oh, I 
should have filmed a TikTok about this. I'm gonna go back in with my concealer over any little places that need a bit of concealer on them and I'm obviously going to redo under my eyes. I obviously put my concealer normally like spots and nose, forehead, eyebrows, you know, just, just go to town with the concealer. We love it and it highlights your face a little bit as well. One bad bitch and you ask how my day go mm -mm, Money and a big old Draco Then I use the collection sheer loose powder um, To be honest I don't even really know how to use powder properly I just pretend that I do For the lols because it's what everyone else does Oh my god it goes everywhere I can't even deal So I'm just gonna do what all the beauty gurus do And just dip my beauty blender in it And then just Again I have no reason for this It's just what everyone else does so that's what we're gonna do. Ow! Ow! Ah! Oh. Ow! Ow! Oh, it burns! It burns! Ah! Oh. That's why we don't use powder and follow beauty gurus because we're not a beauty guru. <laughs> oh my word! I'm gonna have to reconceal. Okay, so one of my favourite things to do with my makeup is to bronze the hell up because I just really like a bit of bronzer. And I always literally used to just put it here, but when my friend did my makeup, she kind of put it everywhere and it literally gives your face so much structure. So I'm using this very broken bronzed glow from Collection. As you can tell, Collection is like my favourite makeup brand. It's really cheap and just has really good products. So just give it a good. I'm using the contour brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just gonna go to town who even holds a brush like this not me bit on the jawline sharpen that bitch up and then we are literally like a tanned goddess do you not agree highlight highlight is next always always highlight i prefer a gold highlight over a white highlight i just think it looks a bit more sun-kissed and sexy I really like to use the Soph palette, it is absolutely beautiful, I've used this I think in every single makeup video I've ever done on this channel, which is a lot because I'm not a makeup girl. Um, honestly I don't have a favourite brush to use for highlight, I don't actually like using fan brushes, I don't think they work very well, so I need to start talking to the camera instead of just, just use whatever's in my tub, which is nothing right now, so we're going to have to use a contour brush, so I mix kind of these two shades here. Nose, we love a bit of nose highlight. Woo -hoo. Oh my gosh, just look at the glow. This is so messy, you can tell I'm not a makeup person. I have a good old spray. Do you want it? That smells good. We don't want it to look cakey. Then I go back in with a beauty blender. It's not going to make your makeup come off, it's just going to press it in a little bit. So it's not cakey. Don't take my word for it because I actually don't know what I'm saying, but that's just the logic I have. Skin makeup looking cute. How I'm not a famous YouTuber, I will never know. My favourite palette for eyes is this palette. It's the Revolution Makeup Revolution London. I don't have any other detail other than that. Flawless 4. That's the palette. It's on the back. Um, it's really, really nice colours. I always use this side, the warm tones and stuff, because I feel like warm tones just look best with my colour eyes. So I take my Real Techniques angled shadow brush, and I just pretty much choose any colour of the bro like bro bro brownie ones, or just do you know I just take anything, just go to town. <laughs> I literally, just, I'm a one shade kind of gal, so just kind of pull it in. I don't remember what two colours I just used. Now for most people, lipstick is the last thing to do, but for some reason I always do my lipstick before my mascara, my mascara is the very last thing I do, so I'm going to use some little lips. I use this lip liner because in all honesty I only own two lip liners and the other one's red and this is the only one I have, so I use this. And I generally just put a lip gloss on top, but if I don't... Unless I use a clear lip gloss, I'm wearing this brick, Rustic Brick by e.l.f. or Well by MAC. I used to wear Velvet Teddy by MAC all the time, but I literally lost it, which is really annoying. So I'm just going to outline my lips, my tiny little lips that I don't actually really have. And that's it. At this 
point you look like an absolute clown, but when you're Lolly Robertson, then it's not really a change. I then kind of just lend it a little bit. Today, I think I actually am gonna go in with MAC Well. So that's my lips, it's literally just that simple bit of lip liner, bit of lipstick. Everyone that's watching this is probably thinking, what is she doing? Please stop, I can't watch this video anymore. She's making me feel sick, she can't do makeup. But do you know what, that's exactly what I'm here for, just to make you annoyed and just entertain you. So we're gonna go with our eyelash curlers next. Curl those babies, um, or what there is of them. Oh my gosh, I just told my makeup artist friend that I'm coming after her career, she just replied, so let's see what she's saying. Look, she knows I'm bad, she doesn't even have anything to say. <laughs> Currently filming, but um, do you want to say hi to my YouTube video? <laughs> That's really cool. This is the mascara that I use. It's just from MAC X Charlotte Olympia. So I've curled my lashes and I'm just going to put mascara on. Jo I'll be back after because we all know how to put mascara on, don't we? Oh, I actually love my friend. Hi, everyone. Honestly, I feel like I did a little bit of eyeliner, so I'm going to show, I'm pretty much finished now to be honest um, And then we're going to move into the next step of the transformation So I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner I'll show you how I do one eye, but to be honest it always goes wrong, it always ends up coming out differently So we're just going to see if it works today, so let's do me right in Okay, makeup is done. I mean, it's not great, but that's because I'm not a makeup artist. So, the next step I need to do is do my hair. Now, my hair is very, very, very long and it's just currently tucked in a ponytail. I've been quite into lately having it half up and then curling it, so I think that's the move we're going to make. So, I'm just going to curl my hair. Um, I don't feel like there's actually any point showing you. Do I do a quick little montage or do I just do it? Guess we're going to find out. Say hi to Lolly's fans. <laughs> Just want to say hi to Lolly's fans. Cutie. I look like my name's Karen. <laughs> right, let's take it out. So basically, I curled it, and as I was curling it, I was chucking in a little bun to make the curls hold a little bit. I was going to do half up, half down, but I kind of just want it all down so we just give it a little shake. It's hard to it's hard for you to see because my hair is dark. Don't know if you can. But either way, this is our little, our hair. I just, I just kind of curl it randomly. Like, I don't really have a technique, to be honest. Like, obviously, we're not going to keep the curtains. I might put it half up, half down. I'm not sure yet. It will kind of drop out later and do its own thing a little bit more. But, yeah, I don't really have a technique to curl in my hair. Sometimes I'll, like, tie half up, half down, curl it, and then put it together. Sometimes I curl it all in a ponytail. Sometimes I curl it loose. It depends what type of curls I want. Um, but these are just kind of random, whatever colour. I need to style the front of it because it's just kind of doing its thing. That's my hair. So I've shot my hair back in a bun because I wanted to stay curly for when I go out tonight. But I am going to end the video here. It was a whole ass mess. I was trying to show you guys how to catfish a little bit if you know what I mean. There's an actual chewing gum on my actual floor and that's actually disgusting. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to smash a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!